Hi friends. Back at the shop again today. I just want to show you what my hallway looks like. I said it looks like a yard sale. Now you can see for yourself it looks like a yard sale. And I have been working all day today trying to get through some of it. And I'm making progress, but it's slow. And here's the deal. Um, we went to a great yard sale, got some great things, but then someone else had a yard sale and they came by and they said, uh, you want our leftover stuff? And I looked at what they had and I thought, yeah, I think I can use that. So anyway, there's some items here, but I'm kind of still overwhelmed, but I'll show you. I want to show you a few of the items that, that we got that we'll be able to use. So be right back. Okay, so I'm wearing some of the costume jewelry I picked up at the yard sale. They were a dollar a piece. Of course, I'll do okay on those at the store. I just wanted to show you a few items that I got that I like so far. This is, of course, an old sewing box. This is a smaller one than some of the ones I've seen. What's wonderful is it still has this latch on there and this. Isn't that fun? Got that. It's one of a million things I picked up there. Um, let's see. This Dubrovnik. I didn't know if it had any value, but I looked it up, and by golly, this plate's worth something. It's kind of a um, from Yugoslavia. So how fun is that? And I have to wonder, how did that end up in Lovelock, Nevada? My favorite find is a... Margo Alexander painting, a little one. She is a listed artist, and so I am so excited about this. I, I, I am drawn to her work to begin with, but I hope you can see that. And you can see that the, the back, it has kind of an autograph, but it's in pretty rough shape. So anyway, I was very excited about that. Also got this. This is a little, um, I think it's watercolor and ink picture of a cow. Um, I think, I think it'll be fun. Somebody will like that. We have people who come in and say, where's your cow stuff? So this of course will go there. Let's see. What else can I show you real quick that I picked up? Um, oh, this was fun. I apologize. But this, we sell this because we have a section where we have fabric and stuff. But look at this, vintage notions. This one, remember that? And then a whole bunch of black rickrack, which we sell. We sell it less than Walmart does. And then, of course, this. These are little things. Now, what's fun about what I'm telling you about is that their prices, um, there were a couple of things that she quoted me prices on. The rest, it was $5 for a bag. So you could fill up a plastic bag um, and get and pay $5. Well, you know, when you've got a lot of little trinkety things like this, me, I can get a whole bunch in a bag. So that's exactly what I did. Look at this purse. This is kind of a vintage purse. See the beaded handle? That's very fun. Um, I've talked about masks before, but I picked this up as well. We have a section where we put, you know, uh, when we do our African displays and stuff. So I was happy to get him too. All right. So mother just, you know, nothing great, but vintage stuff. See, I personally love this stuff. I can never remember the name of it. It has a specific name. This used to be a nutcracker thing. So, um, and it's in pretty rough shape. But again, when you're filling a box for five bucks, I have to be greedy and take whatever I think might sell. So, this this one is cool. This is, I, and I don't know if the whole thing is there and it does have a little mark on there, but this is a piece of Francoma. And um, I'll look it up and see what it's worth. I, I was excited um, because I don't see Francoma here very much. But I was excited about that piece. 
And check this out. When's the last time you saw one of these? A razor strap. We'll get that oiled up and it'll be beautiful. Somebody's going to love it. Vintage platter. Atlas China, 24 karat gold it says. So, um, lots of wear on it. But, again, I threw it in the bag. So, I forgot to show you this, um, which is kind of sweet. I know that it, it's valuable, but it is a, a punch bowl. Unfortunately, the, la the ladle is plastic, but I got the punch bowl, the glasses, a couple Avon glasses there, um, the red, and there are some people who like that. This is kind of interesting, so we'll get that put out, and we'll have some fun with that. So. Anyway, there you go, friends. I'm going to walk out through my shop. This is my Tom Clark display that I'm working on. And also, but I want you to see that I'm making progress in my yard sale hallway. But the problem is things keep being added. It's the darndest thing. At any rate... Be well, friends. I'll talk to you tomorrow or the next day.